So today we are in search of a cheap kind of almost chair for my office. So we are heading to Ikea and may get a couple things as well while we're there. But the whole goal and focus is to get a new office chair that doesn't make my back hurt a ton. Um, I'll show you the office chair I currently have and I've had it for a few years, but I just, I just can't do it anymore. Um, first we check the as is section. Always check the as is section first and then we'll go through the store to see if we can find the chair that I saw online. The one I'm thinking of, it's about 150, 120 if I'm not mistaken. So that's what we're going for. So this is kind of what my office has been looking like lately, a little messy, but not as bad as it was before. But this is the office chair I have. Um, it's aesthetically pleasing, but it's not pleasing for my back. So we need to get a new one. Hopefully something that has some kind of back support, some kind of something. But yeah, that's what we're going for. Back support, visually appealing as much as possible. But back support is the main thing. So yeah, let's go. Completely forgot, before we head to Ikea, we are dropping off an order at Chit Chats. And luckily Ikea is like a 10 minute drive from here, so it works out. This is super cool. I don't know if you guys can hear me because of the wind. You pick up, shop online and pick up your orders. And I guess like you put in your information here and then depending on what you ordered, it comes out of like the little cubby holes. That's so cool. This is side B apparently. Side A, very cool. As I said before, always check the as is section first. And they have a separate entry for the as is section that you can just take a look at what they have to offer here first before you go and buy something full price. This is a very cute couch. I don't need it, but you know. Ooh, look at this office chair. <gasps> look at these, these are nice. More than my budget though, but we're gonna sit on them. The problem with this chair is that my cats are gonna scratch it like crazy. So that's not an option, but very nice. Worth two hundred and thirty dollars on sale. Normally three hundred, probably not, but it's nice. Oh my gosh! I think I found the chair that I came here for. <gasps> did I? <gasps> I did. <gasps> Look, this is the one I wanted. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get black or like this beige color. The beige would also work in my office, so that's fine. Normally one forty. But since it's in the as section, it's apparently a return. It's 105. Now the question is why was it a return? Was the chair not good? Oh, does it not turn? Is the, are the wheels terrible? Is that why? It turns. So this could work.
So things like these are really good for when you have an event, a vendor event, and you get like these pieces of like, random pieces of uh, melamine, wood, whatever, compressed wood, and like you can showcase your pins on them or your little prints or little knickknacks that you sell or your keychains. And it's like visually appealing and you can put like a price tag on the side or something i'll show you guys what i've done but it's a great place to get random little pieces to use to showcase things and they're only like five bucks give or take depending on the size so now that we've found something and in the asset section um the annoying part is if you need something else you have to like go back into the store in a backwards way i guess um but we'll figure it out. So this is the one I found in as is section in the beige. And then this is the actual chair, regular price for 140. I don't know, do I want black? Do I want to spend that 35 bucks? But then like black doesn't get as dirty as quickly, or at least it doesn't show dirt as quickly. So I don't know. Huh. Either way, let's go check out the other sections I have to check out. Always check your IKEA for real plants because they're huge and the pricing is always really good too. Like these are all real. And like $25, $40. Pricing is always decent. Okay, so let's do a haul of all the things I got. So I got this blackout curtain, the really cheap one that's like plasticky, but like it does the job. Um, the shower rod, that's like a tension rod um, to hold the curtain. We live in an apartment, so if you don't need to drill holes or put holes in the wall, the better. Um, now things I didn't need to get, but I got anyways. I got this pot, this planter, so it was in the as is section. So it was $2.25 instead of $2.99. Huh. Um, this was at near the checkout, and it's essentially like you can see here, it's a um, like bookcase, shelving unit, shelving unit. It's a shelving unit. Um, it's plastic, and I'm thinking of putting it somewhere in the office to be able to hold more of my stuff because I have a lot of stuff. So, got this one. This was uh, $16.99. The curtain was also $16.99. The shower rod, tension shower rod, um, was $9.99. Um, these I wanted to get. So, these are actually the lac shelves. Um, I'm thinking of putting some in the corner of my office to be able to just like hold more of my plants. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I think I'll just keep one, but I'm not sure, but I brought two just in case, because like, yeah. Um, I bought more Ikea bags, so I bought three. One I was using to hold all the stuff, so I bought one, two, and three. Um, and then I bought the chair. So I got the chair from the ads section, so it was 104, I think it was, um, instead of 139, so about like 30 bucks off, so that's exciting. Um, and yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like.
I also forgot to mention that I got like this, um, I don't know what you call this, but it's essentially, it goes on the window as well. Um, it's like paper kind of material, it's $4.99. And so you just like stick it up and then it just like falls. Um, kind of, you can kind of see it here maybe. Anyways, so that's also for the windows in the office. Look at her, she is here in my messy office. So I just have the cleaner and these actually come off. So this is removable and this is removable. So I'm cleaning that down, wipe her down. But here she is. Yeah, I'm glad that we got the beige. Not just because she was on sale, but it works. Definitely works. Forgot to mention, um, I also had a pickup today. And so this was uh, me bringing in the boxes of plushies that the person ordered. And it's actually from the store in my previous vlog called New Love. So we're just bringing the box downstairs. So I just had a pickup for a retail store. If you saw my video previously, you would have seen that that's the same store. They ordered more dolls, super exciting. Um, they're basically here in Montreal. So now, what is there to do for today? I have to bring this stuff. Yeah, I gotta bring that stuff to the storage room um, so we can make this apartment look a little bit more livable and not like a warehouse. And yeah, that's where we're at so far for today. And it's like four-ish, three-ish? What time is it? It's 3.43. So yeah, um, day's going by pretty quickly, but we're getting stuff done, productive day. Let's do this. one out of two storage units that I have and um, there's lots of stuff lots of stuff those are my winter tires and some extra boxes a table that I've used for a vendor event um, so I have cushions mainly here and then my dolls are in the other storage unit um, I still have some dolls here too but what we have to do though during my winter break so I'm currently on break for the winter I normally take two weeks off from my freelancing so I can do my own thing. And since now I have a side hustle, AKA this business, I'm using a lot of the time to be able to catch up on things and just do admin stuff. So we have to count the inventory that we have here. And luckily on each box, there's an actual quantity for everything in there. So I don't actually have to count it like individually, but that's something that needs to be done. Should I do it now? I'm not sure, I'm a little tired. It's already like five o'clock. We'll see if I can get any of it done. Like if the quantities were written on here, like from this point of view, it'd be great. Like this one specifically says like 49, which is great, but everything else I have no idea. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I don't know if I wanna do this today, but it might make sense to do it today since I'm here now. We'll see. Okay, so we got the first kind of layer of things out. That's the stuff I brought with me. That's the stuff I brought slash a box that was already in there. And so these boxes actually don't look light. I get that. But the reason why a lot of them are like this is just because of weight. But they're generally not that heavy. Still something that I have to lift and move, but yeah, generally not that bad. So, I might as well just count the stuff that's in here. Well, let's get the numbers that are on each box so I know how much is in here. And then from now on, we are keeping track of our inventory better than we have been, 1000%, because no one's trying to do this again, especially when I get a bigger storage unit. No, no one's doing this again.
super dirty. So we're getting some things down. I can't keep recording because I need my phone in order to track the numbers that I'm counting. It says 49, which is good. But then the other ones have a sticker on the side. Now if I had a marker, I'd write the number on top here, but I don't. So that's the thing. Um, so it has the information there as to how much is in each box. So I don't have to go through every single box. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I don't have to go through every single box, but I do need to be able to see that side label on each box. So I do have to bring them down. Not necessarily all of them, but the top few, just so I can then lift up the others and just check. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. Whew. Okay, we got the majority of stuff in. Not terrible. Okay, all we have left is the table, this box, which I might just bring upstairs because it has um, some dolls in there, some Dre dolls. This chair stays in there. That's why it's coming upstairs in those boxes. And that's the wrap. Not bad. Your girl's exhausted. Very dusty. Very gross. Um, yeah. One storage done. Next storage for another day. Well, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We had a very productive day today. Um, if you have any questions, if you want to just say something in the comments, feel free to. If you like the video, please like it and subscribe for more behind the scenes of running a small business. I'll see you guys later. Bye.